guys, it's Jessica from Peace Love Books, and today I'm here with a fun video all dedicated to season two of Bridgerton and the Viscount Who Loved Me. So I just read this book two weeks ago as a reread. I have not read this book since I read it at the end of 2020, and I have thoughts. So I wanted to come on here and chat about what I'm excited about for season two, and then also react to the season two trailer, which I've not watched. I think it came out Tuesday or Wednesday, and I have put off watching it because I wanted to do a reaction to it. So I will start by talking about the book. So I read this back in November 2020 and I gave it four stars. Anthony was not my favorite. I did not know anything about him based off of the show. I just saw him in here as someone who is very brooding, who doesn't believe in love, doesn't want to find love, and who uh, is very damaged because of his father. So the whole premise of this one is that Anthony needs to get married. He is a Viscount and he watched his father die from a bee sting. It was his father's second time being stung. His father died and he is horrified. He thinks that he is not going to live past the age his father was and so he was 18 I believe when his father died and he had to take on such a huge role that his father left empty and he changed because of it and now he's like I'm not gonna live past that time so I can't fall in love because like it doesn't matter I'm gonna die soon and so he is in his late 20s he thinks he only has like 10 years left to live and he is determined to find a wife and he sets his sights on Edwina. Edwina is Kate's sister and Kate is helping her sister come out in society. They're both technically coming out in society, but they waited until Edwina was old enough because they couldn't afford to go to London and be in society for both of them. So they both had to come together instead of separately. So Kate knows before even seeing him that she detests Anthony. She hates his reputation. He is a rake. He is a womanizer. She detests everything that about him and she tells her sister stay away from him. Well, uh, Anthony hears about Edwina and decides he's interested in her to be his wife. Not because he's in love with her or anything, because she would fit the perfect role of a wife. And so literally from the time that they meet, Kate and Anthony butt heads. Kate is like, I don't like you and I'm gonna tell you I don't like you and I'm gonna put you in your place. Anthony is not used to people talking to him like that and I love that. I think when I read this book, I didn't love Anthony's character and he was the reason why I gave this four stars. I wasn't impressed by it. I was surprised we had another marriage of convenience right after the Duke and I, so I just wasn't wowed by this romance. I think their banter is great. I think the family banter is great, but after falling in love with Anthony in the show, he's annoying. I know, he's brooding, he's mean, he's annoying. But I feel like the show really brought him alive and made me love him, that I loved him so much more in this book, and I gave it five stars on my reread because I was obsessed. And seeing everybody they cast for the show in this book made me love it ten times more. And so I gave this book five stars on my reread. I love their banter. I love the hate to love. I love the whole scenario that made them have to have a marriage of convenience. So... When it comes to the show, of course, I'm excited for the banter. I feel like we need to have that classic Anthony and Kate banter of her putting him in his place and him being really interested in her because of that. But also, I'm really interested to see if they're going to do the marriage of convenience. How far into his past are they going to delve? Are they going to talk about his fear of death and him being horrified he's going to die just like his dad did? Are they going to talk about him taking on the role of his father and why he needs to get married because of that and why he's just I'm not gonna love anybody because of that and are we gonna have the fun family scenes like the Paul Mall scene in here is everything and based off of the marketing so far we've had a couple photos of them holding mallets so I really hope that we see Paul Mall in here and I'd love to see the scandalous scene that leads to the marriage of convenience. I'd love to see Newton, who I'm obsessed with, the dog, and there are just so many funny scenes in here that I completely forgot when I reread it, and I was like, this is going to be so good on screen, so I cannot wait. So I'm gonna go ahead and watch the trailer. So I'm gonna screen record my phone, I'm gonna pull it up and watch it for the first time. I'm pretty sure it's got like a bazillion views on YouTube already. Bridgerton season two. But I'm also really excited. We really don't get to see a lot of the other characters in the book because I think Lady Danbury shows up like once and I'm pretty sure we see Eloise just like once or twice and Colin has his little antics here and there which I really love Colin being involved and I just really wanna see more of them in the show than what we get in the book. I feel like the show really brings the family alive, so I'm super excited to see them all together. So, okay, I'm gonna go to the three minute trailer. 2.2 million views, are you kidding me? Okay, so we are going to, it's number 34, trending, we love to see it. I need to turn on my screen record. 
so that we get all this. Hopefully I don't get any notifications while I'm watching it. We're going to turn it all the way up so that you guys can hear it as I watch it because I didn't do that last time I did this. I did re react to the trailer the first time around, so we're going to turn it. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to watch it and I'm going to, I'm excited. Dearest reader, it has been said that competition is it's gonna be interesting with Penelope. For us to rise before our greatest so of challenges. This is the season the Viscount intends to find a wife. You honestly just did that. I believe I did. She announces it to the entire room. Your Majesty, may I present Miss Kate Sharma and Edwina Sharma? Only oh, hope they like me. <gasps> Their dresses are gorgeous. Please remember what it is you were looking for. Someone charming. And handsome, of course. His glare is everything. Wondering if this former capital R of rake is ready he to got rid of the mutton chops. To the greatest love of my family that I aim to choose a bride with my head and not my heart. But any suitor wishing to gain an audience with Miss Edwina Sharma must first tame her sister. sister. You gotta impress Kate. Newton is an excellent judge of character. <gasps> it's Newton. See? Need all the help he can get. <gasps> he has a baby! And does not believe in the true love you deserve. I should certainly not give him too much credit now, should we? <laughs> it is a poor player who plays the game and a wise one. We are Palmer. Are you in a losing mood? My mood shall remain unchanged. Can you really not see anything engaging about it? Yes, I suppose I can see how he might engage the person. Uh. Of course, she's gonna stare too. It is a very Ooh. powerful thing to meet someone and feel that you know. Gosh, them, stop. Unlike any other. Game notification. After your father died, a wall went up inside you as if love had become some weakness instead of your greatest strength. They are gonna talk about it a little, I this hope. This young lady truly won your heart. The one that makes it impossible for you to look away from them at any given moment. When duty is in conflict with the hearts, was he desire. in a cathedral? <gasps> well, then there is okay. the potential for a considerable scandal mm. indeed. Who is that? My honor is hanging by a thread that grows more precarious with every moment in your presence. I want my sister to be happy. Can you make her happy? Lady Whistledown's words carry far too much import. Ooh, I forgot about the queen. Like a genius idea, ma'am. Yes, that is why I thought Ooh. of it. Okay, so the queen's gonna be after Lady Whistledown. Is that it? Interesting. I completely forgot about the queen and how, oh, let me turn off my screen recording, how the queen was trying to figure out who Lady Whistledown was. So I don't know if a lot of this season is going to be them trying to figure it out because they know it's Penelope. We didn't know it's Penelope until book four. So that's going to be very interesting. Um, there's a lot of tension between Kate and Anthony, which I'm super excited about, but it seems like he is going to court um, Edwina and has some serious reflecting to do and it seems like there's gonna be lots of fun antics like Newton knocking him into the river and having him come out like dripping wet. We're gonna have a lot of like longing angry grumpy scenes where they touch hands and oh my god did you see the pinky scene? This is gonna be so good. I am so excited to see everything come into play and I love the fact that Kay is interacting so much with Eloise it looked like and Penelope was there and we have the family there for Pall Mall. I'm assuming we're not going to see Simon. I heard that the actor is not coming back so I don't think they would have been able to keep that a secret if we do see him. So we do get to see Daphne as a mom with her baby which is going to be really exciting. I saw a little clip of that in there and it's just interesting. I am a little bit worried about Penelope's character. I don't know if they're going to make her some villainous vindictive 
character because like her facial expressions in the trailer look she's like mm, like smirking and I never got that vibe from her in the book and I'm really nervous about that but it looks like they're gonna continue with the longing between Penelope and Colin so I don't know if they're gonna develop that relationship at all it looked like Eloise was talking to a man too so I don't know what they're gonna do there because Philip and Eloise are it for me so I'll be very concerned if they give her a different love interest I'll be very sad but we will see I don't know if they're gonna bring in any extra other characters like they did with Marina in the first season but this one just looks so good I wonder how much we'll see of Edwina because we did not get to see Edwina all that much in the book but I do love the fact that she still needs the support and acceptance of her sister before she gets married to anybody so everyone keeps on trying to go to Kate to get her permission I guess and like Kate in the book is really hung up over the fact that she feels like she's not pretty and she's not like your normal typical woman sought after so she doesn't believe anybody when they say that they think that they're just nice to her because of Edwina and she's not like mad about it or anything she's just very aware of it I wonder if they'll include that in the movie at all but I am just so excited the sets are stunning the costumes are stunning the songs that I saw are gonna be in it are so exciting so everything about this trailer just made me 10 times more excited I have already put in for a personal day for that Friday so I can watch the entire thing in one day because I am excited I'm gonna do definitely a show reaction video afterwards and I am just I can't wait I'd highly recommend reading the book before watching the show just to get the full experience of it but I, of course, am going to recommend the series because I love it so much. And we do have our iconic step back of Anthony and Kate in here. And I'm just hoping to see that sisterly bond between Kate and Edwina because I really, really love that in the book. I love just the family bonds with the Bridgertons and then with Kate and Edwina. And I would love to see that on the screen as well. So that's my reaction and little chat about the book. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let me know what you're super excited for for this season, what you hope to see in season two. I would love to hear. And that's all I have. As always, thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Bye.